if you are suffering from a particular disease, then you can also do acupressure with practice of different mudras, hand postures. We have in all five fingers which represent five elements of the universe. This universe is made up of five elements and the Brahmand is also made up of the same elements. Due to imbalance in these five elements, a body acquires diseases. Even the outer parts lose their balance and form. Thumb represents fire. First finger is representative of air. Second finger is for sky. Third finger represents earth. And the last smallest finger represents water element in our body. You can get rid of negative factors from these five elements of your body by practice of different mudras. This is called Dhyan Mudra. Touch the upper portion of thumb and index finger with each other. You may practice pranayam in this posture. It may enhance concentration. It may dissolve your stress, tension and remove depression. Vayu Mudra. Join the index finger to the tip of the thumb and press it with the thumb. It becomes Vayu Mudra. Vayu Mudra helps to subside arthritis, gout, vat related problems, gas formations may also subside. Your body remains light. Those suffering from ear diseases may practice pranayam while sitting in Shunya Mudra. If you practice pranayam in this Shunya Mudra, ailments of ear may certainly dissolve. Those who are overweight, those who are underweight, this mudra will help them. They may sit in this Prithvi Mudra. Those suffering from urinary diseases, they may practice pranayam in this Jal Mudra or Varun Mudra. Those who are very weak, for them this is Shakti Mudra. Ring finger, small finger and thumb. Join their upper parts. This is Shakti Mudra. Those with high levels of toxins may join the upper parts of middle finger, ring finger and thumb. This is Apan Mudra. There are many such mudras which help you to keep your body disease free. An easy and effortless practice of mudras. Now a few acupressure points. Very easy and effortless. If you are suffering from hair related problems, then rub your nails together like this. Rub your nails together like this. This is for your hair. It may reduce hair fall. Your hair may also stop graying. If you have very thin hair, grey hair, along with the practice of Kapalabhati and Anurum Vilom for 10 or 15 minutes each, you must rub your nails together like this. Your hair may turn black. They may start growing again. This certainly happens. We have seen it. Millions and millions of people have been benefited by this practice. There are some points of acupressure. If you press them, the different organs of our body may get activated. If you have thyroid, then apply pressure here. In this portion, keep applying pressure over here. You can press it for 1 to 5 minutes at this point. It's an important acupressure point for thyroid. Those suffering from eye problems, youngsters who wear glasses, they may practice Kapalabhati and Anulom Vilom Pranayam. Along with this, they should press this point. All the problems, ailments of eye may subside by practice of yoga bhyas, acupressure and Ayurvedic prescriptions. You have to press like this for 1 to 5 minutes. Keep pressing it for 1 to 5 minutes. Drying of eyes, double vision, color vision, night blindness, problems of retina and cornea, weak eyesight, all these may subside. You may not need spectacles too. Apply pressure on this point on both the hands. Now this point is for ears. Located below the smallest finger and the ring finger. Located below these fingers, ear. You have to press ear for ears. Now this point is for heart. It is located above the lifeline below the small finger, here. You have to press here for the heart. Just below this is the point for pancreas. This is the point. After pressing all the points, you press the central point of your palm. This is for the kidney. If you have any problem of the kidney, press this point for 5 minutes each on both the palms and on feet also. Also press the upper portion of this small finger. Along with this, follow the yoga and wheat prescription we gave you. By the grace of Almighty, your kidney problems may subside. Important points for different pains of your body. For cervical spondylitis pain, the point is located behind your palm. It is a practice like a small exercise. These channels on the hand and feet are specially for relief from pain. Press these portions to get rid of pain. For cervical spondylitis lower back, press behind this first finger. Also press the channel between the first and the second fingers. This is also an important exercise that you must do. Now there is one master point. This is the ring finger. Press the upper portion of this ring finger and also the corresponding toe. All the ailments of your body may dissolve. 
स्ट्रेस लोअर बैक पेन हेड एक ऑल द प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू हैंड एंड फीट में सब साइड जस्ट प्रेस दिस अपर पोर्शन ऑफ द रिंग फिंगर दिस इज वेरी इफेक्टिव स्पेशली फॉर दोज सफरिंग फ्रॉम स्ट्रेस हाइपर टेंशन एंड ब्लड प्रेशर दीज आर सम ऑफ द एक्यू प्रेशर एक्सरसाइजेस फूड स्लीप एंड एबस्टिनेंस दीज आर दीज आर द थ्री फंडामेंटल पिलर्स ऑफ लाइफ Take special care of your food. Eat regularly. Eat good. Eat less. Consume more green vegetables. Eat more of whole lentils. Breakfast should be light. Dinner should be light. And lunch proper as per your appetite. Drink water only one hour after the meals. Drink water when you first get up in the morning. Sleep of five to six hours is enough for a healthy person. Control over your senses. Heart filled with joy. Spend each moment, every moment with a positive attitude. We should remain healthy. and must build a healthy prosperous nation this resolve may bear fruits only with yoga today we have taught you the practice of easy and effortless yoga exercises effortless yogasanas which can be practiced by a common man so these were few easy exercises of yoga that we have shown you today our aim is that yoga may reach each and every part of the nation each and every part of the world to each nook and corner of the city and villages there should be free training those who have learned yoga from television those who have learned yoga in camps they should teach it to others one person may teach hundreds and those who can spend 2 hours from 5 to 7 in morning can give yoga training to the people in the public parks and public halls around their residence practice yoga regularly and also teach it to others let's take shelter of yoga the message may spread throughout the world let us contribute to make a healthy nation a prosperous nation a spiritual nation and let us try to bring back its lost glory